But I just want to mention, since we have opened up the Twitter feed, we've we've retweeted one as a, as we not know one I stop I found. Um, this is open access week, so the Op Open Research Exeter is going to be publicising all sorts of uh, research which is publicly available, and I have asked if they can point me the way of digital disruption or online learning, which we we were talking about early, earlier on, because they may be researching these things. Yes. Or well, I'm sure. Oh, I hope they are because online learning is actually quite important to me now. You know, I, I I would like to see myself doing online learning or um, you know, some form of it anyway in a better. Well, you've been you've been forced into it, aren't you? Well, I'm being forced into it, but because you're not you're not turning up at the library anymore because you've been asked to. Sign been on to asked Zoom to, and we've been asked to vacate, and we still haven't been given a date when we'll be returning to uh, the library as such, Newton Abbott Library. I do a, I do I do officially I do a um, English functional skills course down there. I've been doing it for nearly two years and uh, we've been told to vacate from normal face-to-face -face good old-fashioned uh, class meetings. <coughs> yeah, but where the, um, where the digital disruption comes in is that I think eventually people will realise that some of the online learning works quite well. So, yes, so but... Then, it, so then the question's going to be, do they do need to be... It doesn't... On the campus Yeah, maybe... The may, no, maybe... Maybe it does, but it doesn't in a sense because most people who sign up for a face-to-face -face course want that real interaction. I know for a, for a sense, you know, to to be frank, to be practically, you know, to be um, honest about it, will I wouldn't sign up for a be online learning course, <laughs> no, no. you know. Um, no, no, just, um, just, 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 you, calm down. You know, I, just calm down a little well, no, bit. No, but what I'm saying is that's a that's a that's a really uh, uh, careless thing to make from your point of view because you should realise that it, you know, online learning doesn't replace a tutor. You have to be motivated and talking and talking of motivation. If you had to commit to an online learning course every single week and you had to do that, you know, you had to tune in on your off your own back. Well, I can't imagine you tuning in to a, to a solid you know, online learning course each and every week. So well, so don't sit there and tell me that online learning replaces, um, you know, the, the, the use of a good old-fashioned real-life, in real-time tutor. That's So that was a... Sorry about my... Well, so, well, so, sorry for my language, but my colleague here does make some um, really... Um, abstract remarks, and you know, I, I, I don't, I don't think it does. I don't think online learning replaces the wonderful old-fashioned, you know, good old-fashioned tutor and um, you know, experienced, you know, face-to-face -face good old-fashioned learning. I know, you know, it's it's very abstract, and you know, maybe some people can cope with online learning, but online learning for everybody. You know, I wouldn't say online learning is better for anyone. I think it's worse. And, uh, yeah, maybe maybe the occasional people. You have to try and balance it, so that's what I've done. But my, but my colleague really does make some really um, outrageous remarks. That's why... Oh, but oh, I, do apolo I do apologise for my language in advance, but seriously, I mean... Yeah, let him say what he wants to say now, but seriously, that is really outrageous, I have to say. Well, well a couple of things. One is that I have, I have done some MOOC courses, and I'm about to start another one. The, the Institute of Continuing Education at Cambridge is doing um, script writing courses. Right. But so, that, so I'll let you know how that goes. Yeah, but that's fine for you, because you're motivated. For those of you who it works for, it's fine. But you're, you're, you're trying to imply that it would be suitable for everybody. Well, no, no, not, not entirely. I, I, I think there's, you know, there's words like hybrid or blended. There's all kinds of ways of describing, ways of mixing online and uh, what people are more used to. Yeah, but... Yeah, but that's fine. If if somebody wants to experiment with online learning, I'm not I'm not against it. At all. I'm not against it. But what I am against is what at the moment is that you you will be you are you are forced into online learning in some 
way, regard at the moment of whether you like it or not. And for those of us who didn't sign up for online learning courses, it's 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 a bit unfair, but that's the way it is. Um, and I, I uh, from what I've heard of it, this online learning business for, for the majority of people is is a disaster. You imagine having <laughs> you you imagine having to go to you know you you imagine signing up for um university degree and you're thinking well oh I'm going to go to university in October yes 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 I'm going to have fresh a week I'm going to go into student accommodation rubbing your hands along you know paying all those university fees and then you get to university and then you're not you're not able to go to parties you're not able to socialize with students you're not able to socialize with your friends you have to stay in and do online learning i mean what a what a laborious boring well, no. un unsociable boring thing to have to do it ruins the university experience well, for the university students in my opinion yeah but he's so, a disaster so, well um yeah, if, if there's if there's anybody listening who is a student or is from the university or the college or wherever, we'd we'd lo- we'd lo- we would like to. Yeah, hear, we hear we from you. would love to hear your. We're, we're we're just guessing. Really. No, uh, we're not just but, guessing. Well, I actually know that this that this would be the case. I mean, if you, if you actually bother to watch the news, well, okay, which can yes. be can be very often. Well, I do watch from, the news. From, from, oh, do, the do news, you? Do you? Well, well, I know. Ve- I, look, I know but, very. I know. Ve- I know. Ve- I know the various students are struggling, and I don't blame them. And I'm just saying, if I was a university student, which I might be one day, because I have spoken about um, university on here for me, but it's a long way off. Um, yeah, but the, the point is that 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 if if I was a university student right now. And I, I just started university myself, and I had to be experiencing the way things are at the moment. I would be very disappointed. I'm just saying that it's for those of for those of people who wanted a real university experience. It's very disappointing for them at the moment. It's it's very disappointing. But it, as, as I understand it, over over the summertime there was discussion, so that the, there might have been a decision to move every everything online. From, and, and people not necessarily return to the campus. Well, so there is a there is a discussion. If you read, hasn't well, been it hasn't been done exactly, has it? Well, no, it hasn't. Because people have returned to the campus. That's a that's a point. Well, they have done, but well, they have done, yeah. There's, so there's still John. I'm, you know, all, I, all I can say is there's the speculation about whether they will come back again if they yeah. if they if they go through the the quarantine or whatever procedure to get home for christmas time yeah there's the, the speculation there's going to be a two week lockdown mm. whether that'll happen or not nobody knows for sure that's just been in the newspapers yeah well journalists lie don't they well they they make the best guess they can yeah well. so it's open to the government to make a clear statement as well, to what's going on. Well, whenever, they, whenever <laughs> have the government been clear about this COVID nineteen business? Well, I'm they, 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 you know, if you don't if you, think you, they know what they're doing, well, but they, <laughs> they, 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 pro- they probably know some things. That's just balancing the argument. But, 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 they, but they've been a complete disaster. Well, no, and any, and any, you can't and, say that. You can't say things like that, John. Well, Mr. Morgan gets over. Well, well, uh, but, but the point, the point is that they bit that they, you know, they. Haven't been clear on all of it. That's just saying. No. And it's very. No. It's it's all very sad. I mean, it's, okay. Don't you think it's sad for an? It's, it it for is all it is all very sad, John. But I'm just I'm just gonna just saying that I'm just I'm just basing this on reading the Guardian, right? So I'm just a normal person reading the Guardian. I read Gabby Hinsliff on Friday last week. Some people and, might say uh, you take too much notice of the papers. Well, you know, it, it, it by all means, somebody else could come and say, well, there's other information. Um, but she she was saying that, that, that there is speculation that some students having got home, if if it carries on that it's online where the education is, they might decide to stay home. I don't blame them because some people have to come all over the country. Some people come from all over the world. Uh, so I don't, I, you know, if, if 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 it's online and they're able to cope with the prospect of doing their work online, I would stay home because. You only get you you get encouraged to come back in one way, but then you get moaned at by coming back anyway, and you might be sent home anyway again. So it ru- what I'm saying is it ruins that university experience in that university 
climati- climatization because you're yeah. not able to get the yeah. real university experience. It's a, it's a whole experience being at university. University, like there's a whole experience of being at school, and then you go to college, and you go to this, you know, you go to university, this higher education, and then, but it's all ruined by the prospect of this pandemic not going away, and well, no, you know, not, n- nobody, nobody will kind of accept the fact that until we get this under control, that it's going to be like this for quite a while, and that's just being honest. Um, and I know I'm going to play, well, one of us should play some music now because well, I know okay. my colleague well, is well, no, no, terribly no. on edge. Well, I'm not, yeah, I'll just, I'll just go back. So just repeating where, where I started, if, if there's any open, openly available research on online learning and digital disruption and how it all mixes up, we, we'll probably come back to it anyway later on. Yeah, and I do have a track lined up if you, if you okay, haven't got yeah, one. Okay, yeah, no, carry on, John.